Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Farming Simulator 22. We are playing on this amazing map called Newlands. And on this map we started the zero challenge, which means we started with no money. But as you can see, we now have almost 21 and a half thousand dollars in our bank account. We earned that money in the previous episode by completing a contract where we made silage bills. Yeah, that contract went lovely, didn't it? No! Oh, I am not doing this, I swear. Quit, quit, quit. Going to do it, no! Quit, I quit, I quit. That rage quit? happened like 15 times. So let's just say I worked really hard to get that $21,000. Anyways, we are currently in October, which is for us day three. Because in the in-game settings, we chose that one day equals one month. And we are standing on our property and the only thing we have yet is a tent. But we do have a little money now to buy some things in preparation of starting our own business to earn money more money it is really early in the morning right now so that's why it's still really dark so i'm sorry for that but i hope the sun rises soon but anyways i was thinking that the first thing we can do is get rid of some of these trees on our property because we can get quite some money for selling those trees but first things first we need something to cut those trees down and that is a chainsaw so let's go to the shop and let's buy a chainsaw. So let's see, where are the chainsaws? Oh, they're right here. We've got quite some choices in color, but I did install a mod where you can buy a chainsaw with longer reach. So that's what we're going to do. So let's buy it. It's a thousand bucks. So that's, yeah, a cheap option if you don't have the money for real forestry machines. <laughs> so now we bought it and here we go. Let's try it out. So which tree are we going to cut? This one? Like, hold on, hold on. No, wait, 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 wait. We have to first look which tree we have to cut down. <laughs> because I do want a little bit of cover where the tent is. So that's not where we're gonna cut the trees. So let's see. Oh, before we start cutting wood, I need to know where I have to bring the wood. Do we need a truck for it? Do we have to buy a cell point? I don't see it. What? Let's go back up and try again. Oh no. <laughs> Does that mean we don't have a cell point? Well, I did find the wood chips, but no trees, no prices for trees. So I think we have to buy a cell point where we can sell those trees. And you know what? It might be easier to put a cell point on our property so we can sell the trees right away. So let's go to the build menu and let's see if we find a cell point for wood. So let's see, it can't be too expensive. I think I downloaded a mod, it's right here. It's a wood distributor and it costs us $3,700. So it's a very good price for us. And uh, yeah, it's a bit dark, sorry guys, but I think I'm gonna place it somewhere right here. So we have to remove all those trees here. So to place that building, let's see where I wanted it. It was somewhere here, right? Yeah, I think it was here because I saw the triggers. So let's start with this tree, I think. <laughs> First tree we are going to cut down, guys. Let's go. Oh my goodness. I hope this tree will not fall in the direction of the train track. <laughs> but I think it will fall to the left. So yeah, okay. I am so clever. <laughs> I am such a professional. <laughs> and now we can remove the branches like this. It's very easy, huh? You have also trees where you can't do this, but this is nice. Here we go. And this was one tree. As you can see, we can't lift it. It's too heavy, so we have to cut it in small pieces. Now, I don't know how small I have to cut the pieces, but I think I can lift until... 150 kilograms i think or 180 something like that because i know i can't lift 200 kilos that's what i know for sure yes i'm a strong woman mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
<laughs> so I will randomly cut this tree in pieces and then we will see if we can lift it. I have no idea how heavy this tree really is. So <laughs> we will see. I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so I'm done cutting this tree and oh my goodness, it's still too heavy. This piece is still 222 kilograms, so I can't lift that. Told you. <laughs> Okay, so before we cut more trees, it's better to see which area we really need to cut them down. So we probably place the building right there. And hey, there's the train coming. <laughs> and I see there's a red color and this is the only red color we can paint and it's animal mud. So let's just try it out. Yeah, it's the same, I think. I don't know, but it, it looks like the same color. So we're just gonna paint the area where the building is going to be. So it will be way more clearer to see which trees we have to cut down. Yeah, this, this is good. Whoa, look at my money going down. Oh my goodness. It's going down fast, but yes, this is it. Yes, it's much more clearer to see which trees we have to cut and which trees can stay for now. So let's continue our work. It's looking good. There are a lot of trees we have to take down. So we have to collect the tree stumps and then we can cut everything down. Oh, and you might notice that there's a little different in my voice and that's because I had the coronavirus and I was sick in my bed for more than a week and now I'm still recovering from the coronavirus. So that's why I didn't post for like two or three weeks. And I felt so bad about it. So I'm very sorry, but I want to thank you for your patience because yeah, I only have three videos, so it isn't a lot. So <laughs> I felt so bad, but yeah. I didn't want to wait until my voice is like 100% myself, so I'm just gonna record. You hear that I have a cold, but still, I want to thank you for all your support and let's cut these goddamn trees down, man! <laughs> All right, so we're almost done cutting the trees down, but look what I just realized. I didn't have to cut the trees down in such small pieces because you can just push it with one branch, one stump. Oh. I wish I had come up with that sooner. So I didn't clear out all the tree stumps, but I think there is enough room to place this building and it will cost us $3,700 and look at it, beautiful. It was a pretty cheap buy and let's walk around the building to see if everything is okay and oh, it's floating here. Well, luckily it's on the blind side. We can raise the ground, but yeah, it costs so much money. I don't want to spend any money on that right now so we are done guys this is it and unfortunately we can't remove the stumps because we don't have a stump grinder so that's a pity we have to remove that later but guys look at this surprise i already collected all the tree stumps over here and now we can sell it it was a lot it was a lot of work <laughs> but i did it and now we can sell it. And I'm very curious how much money we will get for these trees. So let's go in three, two, one. Whoa, we made $14,000. Oh my goodness. This is gonna make some serious money. And you know what? We can maybe put a chicken pasture right next to it. What do you think, guys? We might have to cut this tree down too. So let's do that. So we have a little bit more space. 
and I think it's best if we cut the tree down in the direction of the cell point so we can push it very easy into the cell point and sell it. So be right back. All right, so I pushed the tree into the trigger, I hope. I think this is okay. And let's drop that there. And I saw a little, little, little piece. Is it this one? No, this is the tree, tree stump. Did it disappear on me? Oh no, it's right here. Look at it. It's four kilograms. <laughs> yes, even the smallest things count. Wink, wink. Okay, so let's sell this tree. Boom. We got $784 for it. Very nice. All right, so let's buy the chicken pasture we already talked about in the previous episode. And I was thinking about this one. This, this small wooden chicken coop is 2,000 bucks. So if I place it like here, I think this is a really nice place to put a chicken pasture. There it is. It's lovely. And I also want to landscape it a little bit. Well, not too much because it's really expensive. So let's also put animal mud over there. I think that's best. So let's make it a little bit bigger. Like, uh, yeah, like this. And let's paint it. You see the money? Oh, I hope the chickens really will like their chicken coop. <laughs> and that the ground is also good for chickens it's a little bit muddy but yeah they'll survive i think and after this we have to buy the chickens and look at this oh i love it this is cute yes i'm very glad with this choice and let's go buy some chickens now as you can see we can buy chicks for five bucks they're zero months old but we can also buy grown-up chickens but they're fifty dollars that's way too much for us so i think we're gonna go with the chicks and let's read out what it all says so chickens produce eggs which can be sold directly or process further chickens like wheat barley and sorghum and what we are going to buy is a chick and animals that are healthy and older than six months can reproduce the gestation period is two months so we are going for the chicks of five dollars and we also have to pay a one dollar fee because a transport fee is applied if you do not transport the animals with your own livestock trailer well we don't have a livestock trailer and this chicken coop can have 25 chickens in total well i think it's best if we start with 15 chickens so they can reproduce 10 more chickens for themselves and i'm kind of greedy so <laughs> i don't want to pay for more so that's 90 dollars. so that's okay and look at them there they are they are zero months old their health is also at zero percent and they need some food so first things first we have to buy some food for them and in order to get the food over here we need some kind Kind of truck or a pickup truck so let's go to the menu and let's see what possibilities we have uh, let's see let's go down and to cars let's see what choices we have and look at this look at this pickup truck <laughs> it's it's so cute it's so simple but so nice and it's fifteen thousand dollars without configurations we can set up an engine with the turbo and let's see what's the difference oh that looks shiny the turbo cost two thousand dollars and then we go from 13 horsepower to 25 so yeah it's worth it sorry i'm just checking out these rims <laughs> it doesn't cost any extra so that's nice so i think we picked this one and for an attachment well yeah we don't need an attachment yet a uh, trailer hitch because we don't have a trailer yet but it can be nice for the future well i like the colors as it is i think let's buy it with these settings and it will cost us seventeen thousand dollars so let's do this we just bought our first vehicle what a milestone it is i have a question for everyone who has a driver's license what was the first car you bought mine was a seat ibiza from 2003 and i'm very curious what your first car was so let me know in the comments 
below, we got $9,826 left in our bank account. And now we have to buy the chicken food. So I'm very curious how much it will cost. So let's see. I found this bag with wheat and it's $1,400 and we get a thousand liters of wheat. So yeah, I think that's a good price. Let's just start with two bags. I think they will eat that in, well, I think years. And we bought it. Okay, so let's run to the dealer. There's our truck and the two bags and we load it up and bring it here and then we feed the chickens so they can get help. And we are here. Let's see if there's no car coming. No, nothing. And oh my goodness, look at our pickup truck. Oh, this is awesome. I love it. I love it. This is this is awesome. This is such a great start. And let's whoa, look at that booty on me. <laughs> oh, this suit fits me so well guys it really complements my figure don't you think <laughs> okay are you ready let's start the engine oh, hoo -hoo. it's working <laughs> it is working this is awesome oh my god i'm so happy with this i cannot describe how happy i am look at me with the lights on yes this is lovely okay so let's load up these bags and then we're going to the chickens. We're going to make the chickens happy. Well, the bags are on the trailer and yeah, we can bring them now to our home. We are going to give these chickens some food because they need it. They're starving right now. They're little babies and they have to grow. And we are going to test our vehicle right away because this is pretty steep to drive. Oh. I'm losing speed already. <laughs> and I only have 2,000 liters around the back. But yeah, easy peasy. Oh, this is so cool. Look at me driving. Oh, did you see me shift gear? <laughs> but hold on, let's look in front of me because the railway is almost here and I'm not going to get hit by the train when my vehicle is only two minutes old, okay? <laughs> But we survived and we're almost there. We have arrived, so let's unstrap the bags and then we can carry them into the chicken pasture because I don't want to drive with the vehicle in the chicken pasture because I might run these chickens over and I don't want the animal police on my porch. <laughs> All right, then we storage the bag there and then we take the second bag if I can get on the pickup truck. Yes, we can. And then we lift it. Oh no! <gasps> Did I just kill her? <clears throat> Nothing to see here. I'm innocent. 